Welcome back guys. I hope you enjoyed those caving episodes. I plan to upload those um, every once in a while. I think caving is fun. And especially if you go caving with someone else. Now, what we have here is my spawn house. I built it on the first day. Um, obviously I didn't have very many resources at that point. So... It was built um, not really with a lot of options. Really all I wanted was a roof. I was given a 12 by 12 plot, I believe, which I filled. Um, but yeah, it was, as you can probably tell, not very pretty. So, first things first, I'm going to tear this whole thing down. Um, yeah, see you then. Okay, I've torn down all the crap that was around. I've removed the door. All I've got left is the chest, the bench, furnace and the bed now. And um, these oak planks mark out the size of my plot, basically. Um, spawn is actually over there somewhere, so I think I've got one of the, for one of the further plots. Um, the whole point is that this is supposed to kind of... These buildings are meant to all follow the same general style. Which means wood bricks and oak wood. And oak planks and all that stuff, of course. Um, yeah, as you can probably tell, spawn is ugly at the moment. We've got random nether brick constructions. Someone went overkill on the sugarcane. Um, quartz not fitting in at all there someone's tree farm yeah not ideal at the moment um and i'm hoping that maybe if i start making this nice um and maybe spend some more time here others will catch on and build spawn houses maybe we could move this whole sugarcane farm somewhere else as well so yeah i will um probably start by putting down some foundations and see you again soon yeah, I didn't put down any foundations, but I put down flooring. Um, these um, oak wood pillars, I'm going to use... Um, I'm not sure if I'm only going to put them in the corner, but probably. Um, they will also be visible from the outside. And this very outer part, I'm, my plot still goes, as I said, to the... Um, planks. I'm going to put stone brick stairs. So first I'm covering up this and eating a steak. And then I'm getting rid of these planks. Yeah. Um, also in order to make this a little prettier maybe, I've planted lots of trees. Also possibly if I need more wood, but I think I don't. But yeah, the biome is not particularly pretty, it's just an, a generic plains biome, so I thought some forest would make it a bit prettier. Okay, and the plan is basically to go with a style that others have um, used as well. To go like this in the corners. And then, um, yeah, go from there. So I'll see you when I've finished the corners and maybe done some more. Okay, next update. Place the corners. Um, and place some walls, place some doors. We, um, I moved the working station away from the walls slightly. It's not going to be the final position, but it's fine for now. Um, I think I've got some glass panes here, and I will make some more. Perhaps another stack. Yeah, so this is going to be where the windows are. I might have a few too many. I'm not um, not really sure. I don't have that much space left though because I've gone in from my 12x12 12 12 plot to a 10x10 10 10 plot, so 
yeah, I'm only use it using the outermost layer for the corners, which means slightly less space than, um, yeah, I originally could have had, I guess. Um, but I don't want this room to be as tiny as it was before, as in terms of height, basically. Last time the... Um, the room was only two blocks high, and that really doesn't look that good. So, going up one more layer, and then I'm placing um, the roof. But first, I'm finishing the windows. I really think there are a few too many, actually. We'll, um, yeah. I'll have a look how I'm doing. I'm going to do it, and I'll see you again soon. I figured out the window issue. Um, I made the front slightly asymmetrical, asymmetrical, rather. Um, I don't like asymmetrical things, but this is the only good solution I could think of. The windows seem a bit tall now, but um, yeah, I'm still going to put a roof on, of course. And for now, I've also added some ladders to get up, which are not going to be um, permanent. What I need now is some more wood. Um, no, I've actually probably got enough. Because I need some stairs. Um, Yeah, I can always chop down more trees, I guess. Um, I'll make these one taller yet. Ugh. Yeah. Um, I'll see you soon. This building is a bit tedious. Oh dear, we've got company. I'll ignore him for now. While I put up a roof. I've already been creepered once while building this because they are so quiet. I actually don't think I will ignore him. Yeah, I'm out of blast range, so... Bam, there we go. I'm leaving the um, the ladder up for now because I do want this roof to be kind of I want I don't want um a complete roof. There's going to be a balcony or sorts something you can walk on anyways. Um, and because I don't have much space, I think I'll actually stick with the ladder. Even though I will make it um one more ladder. So yeah, I'll see you soon. Okay, um, I've put up some fence on the roof, giving you a nice 360 look. Um, um, that's probably all I'm going to do here for now. I've put in a little bedroom. I haven't done any furniture or anything yet, and I probably won't do that today either. Um, I think it looks a bit, lot better now from the outside. It's still not perfect. Um, somehow I need to find a way to do something with the pillars here. And I'm a bit paranoid because I've been attacked by two more creepers. They didn't blow up, but they did get close. So, um, yeah, kind of careful now. But I think that's about all I'm going to do in that house today. I will check how much recording I've done. So, see you soon, I guess. Okay, I put some fence posts on the pillars. They are slightly less boring now. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with um, how this looks now. It's a lot better than before. I don't have to be quite so ashamed I built this anymore. 
I might come back to it at some point, but not right now. It's decent for now. Um, the rest of spawn obviously still needs a lot of work to be presentable. I'll show you around quickly. We've got some sort of quartz contraption that someone built. I think it was meant to be... Um, okay, that, that's empty. I think it was used as a cow farm thing. You know the um, the farm where you get to adult cows in here? You make them breed, the little cow... Um, spawns on that hopper and when it dies the items go in here that's what that was I think and I will show you that setup again soonish we've got some nice little fields here they're actually um, well maintained we've got lily pads so you can um, like fall into the water we've got cobblestone walls pumpkin farm melon farm a workhouse in here before, but not anymore. Um, yeah, this was the first house that was built, actually. This was kind of the, the whole general idea the spawn houses were supposed to go with, which is why I've also used the cobblestone and oak wood. I didn't go exactly with the same look, of course, but slightly similar. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. I am worried about pulling that lever, just in case someone put TNT in there or something. Um, yeah. Up here someone has been building something. I'm not sure whose this is or what it is. But it's been unfinished for quite a while. So I'm not sure anyone's actually going to come back to that. Um, I've also not checked that one out yet some random wool bits. Yeah, this has been, um, I don't know, this area has had I think a few too many people messing about with it. Okay, so this is Void Kill, who apparently has no property, and also has a terrible taste in building materials, because that looks very bad. Might look better in the spawn materials, but as it is, ugh, terrible. Regardless, there we've got the portal to the nether hub. Enchanting station, just the, I don't know, the basics. Someone put up an egg farm. So I might get leg spiked fairly soon. Yeah, there we have it. My FPS dropped like below 10 there. Um, and there's one last thing, which is a spawn, and that's Marcus, uh, no, it's not Marcus, it's Brother Jason's house. And I will trespass quickly. He also went with the general theme, um, and he's made it look quite nice, I think. He's put up a um, chandelier. He's got a nether ward farm. Not much, because he's also got a different base somewhere else. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that's been done at spawn, so I'm hoping some more work will be done here. Because for the moment it doesn't look very inviting. So, yeah, I will go back to my base. Actually, I will quickly show you the nether hub work in progress. This is also very unfinished. And I'm hoping there's no gas in here, because they can still spawn. But yeah, this is going to be where everyone connects their nether tunnels. To get to their bases more quickly. So far, um, Fijian Mamba has connected, but didn't build anything in it yet. This is Avodas. Um, he didn't really make it nice yet either. This is Lucas's tunnel somewhere around here. Someone else has been building random constructions here to um, yeah, enable building the hub. Um, and this is my tunnel. I think it's the only one that's properly finished. Um, 
it causes well it's not very smooth yet and as you can see I didn't really finish it in the sense of aesthetics but functionally it's done I've got um, a rail system all the way back to my base I will when I have the time um, and I'm happy with the rest of my base for the moment I will change all this nether rack to maybe nether brick, maybe stone brick, maybe something else entirely just to make this um, yeah this cart ride a little less I don't know disgusting because nether rack really does look terrible and also maybe because of how, um, how I've separated the power drills this seems very choppy the whole um, the whole drive here um yeah i'll see you again at my base because we're still quite a f long way away okay here we are back at my base i didn't do much i think um i'm not sure if i did show the bookcases on video yet but i put some bookcases um in some of the finished buildings finished houses rooms whatever so far um, this is quite interesting. This is my new and improved cow farm. Um, it is not PETA approved. Um, so any animal rights activists might be very offended by what I'm doing here. Anyways, in each of these holes there's two cows. When I push this button, water starts flowing, they start jumping up and down. I can then breed them, because um, as they are now without um, the water, they're not jumping. So I can only breed, I can only always, always only hit one of the cows. I need them to jump so I can breed them. The new cow then spawns in a one high space, or it's pushed there. Um, it can't get out of there because there's no no place it can go. When it grows up, it instantly suffocates, and its drops go into the chests down there. Um, yeah, so this works. Obviously, I have to be in the area for the chunks to be loaded and the cows to grow. But it does work sort of without me doing very much, which is nice. Aside from that, I don't think I've done anything else here. So I will stop recording again and see you soon. So, I've recorded probably enough for an episode now. I try to get them between 15 and 20 minutes in length. Um, yeah, just to make it not too long. So, that's it from me. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and I do hope you will enjoy future ones as well. See you again soon. Bye-bye.